introduce them to a world actually beyond the flesh, a world of the unseen and eternal, the spirit that moves through all things that they can tap into and understand without beating them over head with any, you know, heavy duty philosophy. It's just interwound through the course like a fabric of consciousness. It gave me um, a feeling that I can keep on trying at things and finally succeed. So not just with fire, but in schoolwork, if I'm working on something, if I keep on trying, I'll succeed. For some of them, it's something that they've craved their whole life, and they come here and they live it for a week or two, and they go home and we get letters from them that talk about how they feel more themselves than they ever have before. And if for nothing else, it's worth it for that. I think that this camp has changed who I am, because I feel like I belong here, and I'd never felt like I'd belong anywhere else. To me, these are the kids who are going to become the future poets, philosophers, writers, because they're living it. They're not living imagination through some external source like a video game or a television set. And that approach to reality, that intensity, leads them to live such full lives. It's like awakening something that has been stolen from them giving them back their childhood, but also giving them back a life that is full of passion, intrigue, adventure. It has changed my life because I, I really feel in touch with my inner self, the earth, and the kid I came with. I mean, I saw a new side that I'd never seen before. It's totally different than normal school. You learn from experiences. The instructors don't always give you the exact answer. They show you how to find the answer yourself, and then you remember it longer than if they just tell you. When I came here, I learned all about the, the plants and the animals and how they interact with each other and um, how, um, how close they are to us. And we, we need them to survive. I see kids go through our programs, and they, you know, they learn how to make fire, right? They've only, they've only heard about making fire, and then they go make fire. They create it, and that gets them so excited that they've been able to do something like that. Yeah. After a little while, I started getting the form down. Finally, I got fire, which was just a great feeling because I had never gotten fire before. Ugh. Now you hear that ringing sound that this stuff makes? When you're cruising around in some stream beds and stuff, just pick up random rocks that look like they might be flint and apple and tap them and they'll ring. High pitch ring. I learned a lot from the first night. And just my own experience taught me a lot more than I think anyone could have just lectured me on. I actually have come here because I've read a lot of stuff in a book, but I never experienced it. One of my big lessons, you know, all the various hides I've played with, you think, oh, I'm just going to run outside and just skin this deer. And it can take hours to do it well. It's like magic because you're transforming it. Yeah. It's hard work, though. It really makes you appreciate the clothing and the work that goes into it. making clothing and tanning buckskin. There aren't a lot of places, especially for this age group, that you can go and learn this kind of thing and with the quality that you get here. It evaporates. What happens to the water when I cook it inside a stew? The water is still inside there. Now, we talked how important water is, every single drop. So even if a drop evaporates, wouldn't that be better to add another drop into our bodies? How long is the longest we could go without water before we start to become in serious trouble, please, Al? Everyone's important in this life, in this world. 
And then you say to yourself, where would it be if there was no people, no land, no God? I come from a place of wanting to give, especially younger folks, teenagers, a chance, an opportunity to, to know that they can make a difference and that there's other ways to look at the world. In total darkness in the woods, it's, it's tough, but humans are pretty amazing. They can adjust. It made me more a chef myself in the woods and I'm just kind of like knowing that I'm capable of more than I thought I was.